In this video, I'm going to contrast the constructor way versus the non-constructor way of creating objects uh, in JavaScript using another example, uh, another cliched example. I'm going to create a bicycle object, uh, which has a couple of properties on it, and I'm going to create a couple of objects using both just simple functions, which create everything on its own and then return the object, and then using a constructor mode of calling functions using the new operator. So let's do the simple way. So let's say this is my bicycle. And uh, it's an object which has these three properties, the cadence of the bicycle, the speed at which it's going, and the gear that it's in, right? So this is a simple bicycle object. Now, you don't want to do this inline, and you don't want to create properties manually. You want to have a function which creates this. Now, let's say I create a function without using any constructors. It's a simple function which initializes the object and returns it back, right? It takes three arguments, which are the cadence, the speed, and the gear, right? All the data that you need to initialize in that uh, in that object and then return it back. So let's say I call this the I'm call it function create bicycle. Let's say this is my function, right? I'm going to write a function called create bicycle, which takes in three arguments and then it prepares this object. I need to accept those three arguments over here, the cadence, the speed, and the gear. And now I have an opportunity to create this bicycle object. So let's say I create a var new bicycle equals an empty object and then now I can set things on this new bicycle. And now finally now that this object is ready I need to return this. I'm going to return new bicycle. Right simple function which creates this object in this structure. And now I can call this with anything, uh, any parameters I need, and I'm going to get that back. So rather than do this, rather than set up the object in line with cadence 50, speed 20, and gear 4, I can call this create bicycle function with those parameters, the cadence 50, the speed 20, and then the gear 4. And with this, now I have my bicycle with those properties, right? So this is a simple, met this is a simple function which creates an object. All right, so I can actually create one more using the same function because that's the advantage of having functions, right? So let's say I create a cadence of uh, 20, speed is five, and the gear is one. Now this is bicycle one, this is bicycle two. Let me run this. And now if I were to print these things on the console, bicycle one is this object and bicycle two is this other object. Now we've got two objects thanks to this create bicycle function, which is like a factory. It creates objects. Now this is one way to create objects and this is something that you would have been familiar with before you learned the concept of constructors. Constructors makes this simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function for creating a bicycle, but this is going to be a function that gets called in the constructor mode. So let's say I call this function I'm going to call this bicycle constructor. This is not a good name for a constructor function. I'm going to tell you why soon, but just consider this to be the name for now. And uh, this is the function which is going to get called in constructor mode. Okay, so let's say I want to have another bicycle. Uh, let's say bicycle three that gets that calls this function, but in constructor mode. And the way to call a function in constructor mode is by using the new keyword. Now that you use a new keyword on a function, this function is now being called in constructor mode. So when you anticipate a function to be called in constructor mode, you need to write that function differently. Because when a function is called in constructor mode, we learned this JavaScript adds two lines of code to that function. There's one line at the very beginning, which is something like this, where this equals empty object. And the very last line is something like this, return this. All right, so JavaScript adds these lines. It doesn't literally add these lines, and it's not like these lines actually get executed, but for all practical purposes, you can think of it as there is a variable this that gets created before your first line of code get, gets executed, and there's an object initialized. And at the end of your code, this uh, that object within that variable is returned back. So now you look at this and compare it with this, it's more or less the same. You know, if you have the first line and the last line that happens automatically for you, 
All you need to do is just add these things in the middle. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. And now this is not going to work because there's no such thing as new bicycle. We called it new bicycle for the object, but now here, since that's happening automatically and it's given the name this, I need to use the name this instead of the name new bicycle. So I'm going to do that and change these to this. And now let me clear this out and then choose reload and run. The open bicycle three, you see, that is the new object that got created. We have cadence 50, speed 20, and gear 4, which was thanks to this. So this is essentially the difference between the normal way of creating a function which constructs objects and then creating a function that's supposed to be called in constructor mode. If you know that a function is supposed to be called in constructor mode, you essentially assume that these two lines are already there and then you just have this in place. The thing that you need to remember though is there's nothing about the function itself that tells you that it's supposed to be called in constructor mode. The fact that a function is being called in constructor mode is not a property of the function but the property of the way you call it. You can call a function using the new keyword and then that function gets called in constructor mode. What you can also do is skip the new keyword in this in which case this function does not get called in constructor mode, it gets called in a regular mode. But if this gets called in a regular mode, it'll not work because you're not really returning anything here, right? So for you to take this value and return it back, you are basically depending on JavaScript to do that for you. And that's, uh, JavaScript does that when you have the new keyword, right? So there is no property on the function itself which indicates that it's a constructor. The constructor mode in JavaScript just happens to be a way in which you can call a function, any function. So it's important for you when you're writing a function to somehow give a clue to other programmers that this is a function that's meant to be called as a constructor and not as a regular function, right? If somebody calls it as a regular function, it, it wouldn't work and they wouldn't know why. So you have to somehow give a hint. And the convention that uh, people have come up with for constructors in JavaScript is to not use camel case, but use regular case with the first letter caps. So rather than have it be a bicycle, something like this bicycle constructor, you, you, you always start your constructors with the capital first letter, all right? And since this indicates a constructor, I can actually clear out the constructor word. So essentially it just becomes the thing that you're creating. So if I were to copy this and paste this over here, so this, will work just as well. So this is a constructor that creates a bicycle because that's the name of this function and it also happens to start with a capital letter. All right, so this is the clue that gives uh, other programmers an idea about what this function is about and how to call it. You are supposed to call this in a constructor mode. Now, if you look at this function, at least the way you're calling it over here, this seems very similar to the class-based object initialization in Java or C++. In Java or C++, when you say something like this, new bicycle, you're essentially looking at bicycle as a class name, right? That's not the case here. It is still a function, even though this line looks misleadingly like the class-based initialization, you are still calling just a function. Bicycle here just happens to be a function. But functions which need to be called as constructors in JavaScript are by convention named in a particular way with the capital letter and the name of the function just indicating what it is that it's constructing. Remember that this is just convention. It doesn't prevent you from calling this like any other mode and it doesn't prevent you from calling this function as a constructor. We'll see what happens if you do either of these two things in the next tutorial. But here's a spoiler, it'll not work. We'll try to understand why it will not work in the next video.